and welcome or welcome back to the channel. Yes, I've been at it again. I've been buying diamond painting stuff and I'm here to share it with you guys because I just know you love a good haul and you like to see all the things. So I've got a couple of really random things in this haul today as well, but I will show you them because they are slightly related to the diamond painting hobby. So I got a few bits and pieces first from Amazon UK. I have been very interested in these super thin multi-placers that everyone talks about. So instead of the normal placers, they are a little bit of a thinner stripe. So it's easier to see where your jewels are. So I managed to find this little set from Amazon of a bit of everything. There's an 11, 9, we go all the way up to 15. Wow. Um, I do believe... I think there's a straightener in here there might not be actually nope nope there's no straightener in here uh, but yeah we go all the way up to uh 15 so we've got from two there's my little my little two oh no is a three we go from three all the way up to 15 so i thought that would be absolutely awesome so lots of thin multi places um, and I didn't actually realise it when I ordered it because I already have one but it does come with a straightener you do end up with a few of these so I got those pop those off to one side um, I also because my new obsession with cover minders is real got this little set of two diamond painting magnets um, and this was a little two pack of purple daisies. Uh, let's take that sticky off. I do like to keep these little tubs for um, wax, I must admit. And so you get two little cover minder magnets that look like this. Super cute. Um, so pop those off to one side from there <laughs> i did promise you guys i would try and start timing how long um it takes me in actual hours to do my diamond paintings it's not happened with back to wonderland i'm not gonna lie <laughs> i've tried so hard i tried to use my phone but then i kept needing it to upload videos and so also i would ring me and then i'd forget to replay it so i tried using my laptop and i just kept forgetting to press go and um, so i have bought myself <laughs> A little plug-in rechargeable timer and stopwatch so this goes up to nine hours and uh, it's got its cute little I'm assuming it's got a stand maybe I'm nope yep hang on yep so it will stand on my desk it's rechargeable batteries and so I'm hoping <laughs> I'm hoping this cracks it because I spent a tenner on it uh, maybe 12 quid on it so hoping that fixes the problem but obviously I won't be using that now until my next diamond painting because I'm already a fair way through back to Wonderland so that will have to be my next project I did see a diamond painting pen and just uh, added it into one of my baskets like you do if you may uh, sorry for the plastic um, but I just really thought that looked oh, it's off. Uh, super cool because it's got this kind of ink pattern to it. So it's got blue and purple ink swirl in there. And it comes with the thin placers. It's got a four placer on there. And these do obviously come out. And the single placer. And then it does actually come with... Stop, roll, stay... Um, a little pack of wax of course because everything does <laughs> you get three pieces four pieces of wax in there and then some more places and they are the thin type which is nice you get a 10 a seven two sevens a 10 another 10 uh, another four to go with that one a little straightener uh, a spare single placer and an ergonomic placer 
in case you prefer those which I do actually quite enjoy this type so I have those will they go back in there Ooh, yep. yep 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 so I got those had a bit of a pen crazy moment I'm not gonna lie from there I have started <laughs> And my husband just <laughs> slapped his forehead at this, but I've started a diamond painting stash and a diamond painting log, but I'm a card maker, so I have these little tonic craft kit folders. I'm going to make a sticker to go over that. Um, so I just figured I'd just reuse those. And so far, I have just popped um, a few little A4 and 5 wallets in. And this is my, so far, completed one and only completed licensed diamond painting and so i've just got my log kind of started in there i just like to put the details about it what it was like how long it took what i paid blah 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 when i got it when i started it when i completed it stuff like that and then the idea is i'm going to put the stickers that you get with them so kind of like these just on the front there gorgeous gorgeous um and then uh my a uh, little stash log book where I've popped all my stickers so far. Uh, so, long story short, I bought some lined paper. So I just bought this pack of A5 lined notepad paper. It's lined on both sides, 50 sheets per pad. Obviously you get five pads. It's 80 GSM FSC paper and it's by the Worcester Stationery Company zero plastic packaging which I just quite liked that and uh, it's just really nice paper so that is my diamond painting log book paper extra I know uh, I also invested in a pack of dryer sheets and funny story I could not this was the this was the scent that was cheap I didn't want to spend a fortune on dry sheets that I'm not going to use for anything else. So I got Pink Blossom and now everything, absolutely everything stinks of a floral scent. All my toolbox, my pens, my hands, my tubs, my diamonds. <laughs> Luckily, it does smell very nice, but I got that for my... Um, static problem so I can chop them into little pieces and if you can see here um, pop them into my tubs of diamonds and uh, just remove the static and I must admit it's working really really well so I am glad that I did grab those and then the final strange item oh I know I got a junior hacksaw <laughs> and mitre block junior because it's me and that's for the best uh, this is not for chopping up my diamond paintings. This is because I'm going to get some um, long beading strips so I can frame my finished pieces is the idea. And obviously I want to mitre 45 degree angles and I want to do it myself so I can not spend a fortune on actual frames. So I bought myself a little junior hacksaw and mitre kit from Amazon. Awesome. <laughs> You can get spare blades for this as well. They just tighten in and out. So that is that. An odd purchase, but it is directly related to my diamond paintings. So I figured it did count. And it's it's on the floor. So then I was on Timo. And... that happened uh, so <laughs> I will share these uh, I did get a couple of I feel like I should have taken these all out of their plastic um, and you know what bear with me so by the power of filming magic everything is out of its plastic and this will be a lot more bearable so I'm going to start with these beautiful little cover binders I got so I got nope wrong side this little <laughs> cloud yes awesome I got 
this little he's gonna have plastic on isn't it oh i thought i was doing so well i'm gonna put the cellar tape off this little i don't know he reminds me of the um gas electric <laughs> the british gas guy um this little guy here this little ghost with his little diamond cheeks and finally i got this pink rose as well you get the little tubs that they come in and this little guy so from there I got these two little trays, literally because they were they were 89 pence, so I don't hold a whole lot of hope. And they're not beautifully printed. I can already see a little ledge to these and a couple of little spots where they're raised and the drills aren't going to slide at all. But we'll have a little look and see. They do have their little covers on their spout, so... It was worth the risk of the price just to see whether it's something you really shouldn't bother with. And I will be testing all my new things out. And I will do um, kind of uh, month in reviews to show you what I've liked and what I really would not advise. And then this happened. I saw... Is that going to come out of there? <laughs> a dustpan and brush. <laughs> oh, I've got it. Uh, a dustpan and brush for my drills so when I have my little spill I <laughs> oh missed uh, come on one guy there we go I uh <laughs> such small things because if you gave me a dustpan and brush for cleaning I would not be this impressed and uh, I just thought that was super fun it was a couple of quid and I have that ridiculously <laughs> heartwarming accessory so I got one of those not sorry I did to go with the cheese I bought this as well so I saw this guy. He's exactly what he looks like. He's a wheelie bin trash container for your trash drills and such. His little lid opens. He comes in this cute sage green colour. And I now have a diamond painting trash can. Complete with little handles and little wheels. I don't think the wheels turn, do they? Oh, they do. And little wheels just love that again it's Timo so it was a couple of quid couldn't resist he sits off to one corner from there we're all all pens so each one of these <laughs> was a few pounds from Timo I got this deep blue with the beautiful can you even uh see that I hope so these beautiful dark blue flowers and glitter that comes with, of course, the usual couple of pieces of wax and some single and multi places. From there, I got this this one. It's kind of a pearlescent mica filled ink splodge in yellow, red, and green. And again, a couple of pieces of wax, some multi. Uh, ergonomic and single tips and then a new a new pattern for me I got this brown one I know it's unusual but I actually really liked it again this one just came with um, a straightener and some single and multi places um, but I just really like the idea of being able to theme my kit so like having a few different colors of pens and cover minders and trays so that when i'm working on a project it'll match i know i'm such a child so i got this one as well because i don't have anything in green again just like the pattern 
that came with single and multi-placer tips, of course. And then finally, I got this one. And this is kind of a translucent purple to blue acrylic with a white ink kind of misted through. And again, comes with some wax, some single and multi-placer tips. So I'll definitely not run out of tips for a while anyway. Um, and that is everything I got. So essentially, that's definitely the last of the cheaper Timu Amazon supplies I'm going to get. I'm really interested now to save up a bit of cash and to start shopping in some kind of more small Etsy store owners places to see kind of truly what the difference is like when you buy yourself a luxury item will it end up my favourite is it going to be the one that you know makes all the other ones irrelevant and that I should have just bought that one amazing pen and tray so definitely interested to do that at some point soon as well apart from that guys as always if you found out anything gave you questions please do ask them in the comments below or you can message me on instagram my details are in the information box in the description and if you're enjoying the video please do give me a thumbs up it really helps my small channel and as always guys if you're happy to please do subscribe and return to watch more diamond painting randomness and silliness i suppose and apart from that guys have a wonderful week happy crafting happy coloring happy diamond painting happy whatever you're doing and i will see you in the next one thanks for watching